Welcome back to Live Now from Fox. And we did want to share some breaking news with you as you are taking a live look at the border of Israel and Gaza as the sun is now setting in this region. Just now from Reuters, we are receiving some news that Hamas saying that it has accepted a Gaza ceasefire proposal from Egypt and Qatar. Uh, Hamas said in a statement that its chief had informed Qatar's prime minister and Egypt's intelligence chief of its acceptance of their proposal, although no immediate details were provided as to what that agreement entailed. Now, again, this comes as today the Israeli army has ordered all 100,000 or so Palestinians to begin evacuating from the southern city of Rafah in Gaza, again, signaling that a long-promised ground invasion there could be imminent and further complicating efforts to broker a ceasefire. Now, the likely operation in Rafah has raised international concern, and Israel's closest allies have warned against it earlier today. The United Nations agency serving Palestinian refugees said it would not comply with the evacuation order. And overnight, Israel's defense minister telling U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin that Israel had no choice but to act in Rafah. This also comes as yesterday, Hamas carried out a deadly rocket attack from the Rafah area that killed four Israeli soldiers. Although Israeli officials would not say whether the Rafah invasion was a response. Uh, this also comes as over the weekend, a Hamas delegation arrived in Cairo again to discuss a deal for a truce and the release of hostages in Gaza. Now, Egypt, along with Qatar and the United States have been leading efforts to mediate between Israel and Hamas to broker a deal for a ceasefire in this conflict. Now, the latest framework, again, it's unclear as to whether the agreement that Hamas has approved is related to this particular one, but the latest framework called for the release of 20 to 33 hostages over several weeks in exchange for a temporary ceasefire and the release of Palestinian prisoners. Again, it is unclear as though whether Israel has responded to that. But again, some breaking news is that Hamas has now said it has accepted a Gaza ceasefire deal. And again, you can see that live look of uh, the Gaza skyline going black for a moment, but it is going to come back up again as we share that news for you right now.